Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. One X player has recently been teasing an upcoming handheld that actually looks pretty promising if they can keep the price down. Right now, we don't have a ton to go on, but we do have some initial specs and images. And you know, I'm not a huge fan of the name. They're gonna be calling this the One X Fly, at least right now as I'm making the video, but I am a huge fan of the way this thing looks. And like I mentioned, if they can get the price on this thing right, I think it'll do very, very well. So right now, we do know that we've got a 6-inch 1080p IPS display on this unit. As you can see from the pictures here, we've got a white design, and they will be using RGB around the analog sticks. No word if they're using regular analog sticks or hall sensors in there yet, but I'm sure in the near future we will get more information. So the very first thing I noticed when I saw this image were the trigger buttons or the shoulder buttons up top. Now what it looks like to me from these images that we have right now is that the outer buttons are gonna be the triggers and the inner buttons are gonna be the shoulder buttons. But from other images that we've seen, the inner buttons actually may be third buttons up top here and we're just not seeing the triggers around back. If you take a close look between these buttons, we can kind of see what resembles a third button around back and this would be great to have nice analog triggers on a handheld like this. But right now, we're not 100% sure. Another thing that a lot of people have been talking about is the gradient text right there underneath the D-pad. Now on this image, it says pilot. On the other side, it says 1X fly. But on some other images that they've posted so far, we're seeing different text. Now this could mean one of two things. Photoshop, they're just changing this up. Or we've got fully customizable logos right here, and that would be really, really awesome. We've seen this on higher-end gaming laptops. You know, the rear can be fully customized on some of them. It's got an LED matrix. And it would be nice to see it here, but I'm not going to cross my fingers just yet. And to tell you the truth, if they can keep the price down by leaving something like this out, I'd be totally fine with not having this on the unit. And this is the newest image we've got from them. To tell you the truth, love the color scheme here. I personally really do like the way this looks. And if we take a look at that text, it's also different on this one. So right now, information is a bit limited on the One X Fly, but we are sure of the CPU or the APU they're going to be using. They've actually opted for a Ryzen 7000 series, but don't get your hopes up too far just yet, because it's not going to meet or exceed the performance of the 6600U, which is out now, or the 6800U. This is a more cost-effective APU, and AMD announced this a few months ago, and they're calling these Mendocino chips. These were meant for cost-effective laptops and Chromebooks, and with this, we're getting the Ryzen 5 7520U. It's a 6 nanometer chip, up to 15 watts, and I'm sure we're going to push it a little harder than that once we can get our hands on it. But we've got four cores and eight threads, a base clock of 2.8 gigahertz and a turbo up to 4.3 on the CPU side of things, looking really good for a handheld. We've also got a new RDNA 2 iGPU in here known as the AMD Radeon 610M. We're going to get a clock up to 1900 megahertz on this iGPU, but we've only got two graphics cores. Now to put this into perspective for you, the Ryzen 5 6600U, which is a great chip, has six graphics cores and the 6800U has 12. So obviously this isn't going to be putting out the GPU performance that the 6800U can. That has 10 more cores when it comes to the GPU side of things. But I do think we'll be able to get some really nice gaming out of the way, especially indie titles. And really, if they get the price right, this could be a great handheld for a lot of people. But yeah, right now we're still waiting on some more information and hopefully within the next week or so we'll know more about this. I'd like to know the weight and, you know, just the full dimensions of the unit itself right off the bat. We also need to find out what size battery this thing is using. I mean, there's a lot of information that's missing here, but I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick video. And if anything major comes out, I will post another one. But definitely keep an eye on my community section because I got a feeling we will get a little more information leaked out in the next few days or so and I'll post it over there. But yeah, I am excited about this thing. I love the look of it. The main thing is going to be pricing. So, you know, if they can come out swinging and undercut the Steam Deck, I think it'll do very well. But if they're way over the Steam Deck with the specs we have here, I'm not exactly sure how well it's going to do. So let me know in the comments below if you like the look of this thing and what would be the ideal price for something like this with the specs we saw so far. But that's it for this one, and like always, thanks for watching.